Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you all like the uh, biking video. My buddy's got me uh, into that. That's actually really, really fun. Um, I'm going to wear my headset glasses out there next time because we go flying through the trails. It's really cool. That was just some of the jumps and me crashing. My leg, uh, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but my whole leg is just swollen. It's funny. And I got a little poison ivy. That sucks. But hey, whatever. So, here's what I want to tell you guys today. Uh, I've been working with this uh, hydrogen gas gun and the VIC coil and such. Yes, here it is. I took it apart. Uh, there's the LEDs right there. So it's all good, but uh, I've been trying to play with this uh, high voltage transformer. Uh, 10 kVA, I'm sorry, 10,000 volts uh, with this Variac here and running it through this um, gas gun. And I cannot get a steady corona field. Um, I'm having a really hard time getting a steady corona field. So, I decided, as I talked about earlier, um, I told you guys I had this unit. Um, it was recyclable. Scrap for somebody, good for me. It still works perfectly fine. But, uh, this is a uh, an air ionizer, basically. It, uh, what it does is it ionizes the air and it creates a uh, ozone and that you know that's a refreshing thing for uh, like after a storm you get that same effect well this is what it does uh, this is an industrial one uh, here are the plates that go in here uh, they slide in here just like this these are on some sort of a ceramic backing and um, what I'm going to do with this is I think I've decided to make this my Corona device. Um, this whole plate, this whole entire thing actually creates a Corona field on each side. This side and this side. It creates kind of a Corona field between this ceramic plate or whatever this is. It feels ceramic. Um, so, basically, I'm going to create a giant gas ionizer. Um, without the LEDs right now, and then since I have created this like I did, I can just unfold this and shine this in one side or the other. Um, or I can put it back on the gas gun. And no harm done. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, but right now I'm going to leave it as it is. And build a box around this. I'm going to have to build a, a bubbler so I don't blow up my HHO cell or bills. And um, yeah, so basically I want to prove to you guys... Um, that you can process the gas with ionization. I do need to make some sort of an electron extraction type circuit for this. Um, I'm going to try it with it, try it without it, see what the different effects are. If I do just the hydrogen, I'm hoping uh, maybe I can... Uh, well, it'll be different. Depends on what you're trying to process, because the hydrogen's the wrong polarity than the oxygen, so on the electron extraction circuit, you're actually going to have to hook it up different, um, depending on what you're trying to do. So that's kind of confusing too. But hopefully, that's my goal right now. Um, like I said, I've been messing with this other stuff, trying to get this um, get this circuit going. I've been playing with uh, Blaine gave me a uh, uh, can't think distributor, uh, high voltage distributor, uh, transformer, flyback basically. Um, so yeah, uh, this circuit works pretty well so far. I need to still need to work on the output. I think it works all right, but. I'm not very happy with the output side. Everything else works great. So hopefully I'll release that soon. Um, but I really want to ask you guys what you think about the idea of what we're trying to do here. And what are we trying to do? We are trying to ionize gas. Um, that's the end result. So if I can ionize the gas and I can do it any way I wish, uh, why not do it this way? This works great. I'm going to turn the lights off so you guys can actually see this thing create the corona field. Hopefully you can. So let's do that now. But that's the question of the day. Does it really matter how we process the gas as long as we process it? Does it have to be through a gas gun that looks like this? Or can it be through any other process? I say it could be through any process. And since I'm not having the best of luck with that, and I think the only thing I bought on that were uh, the LEDs and the stainless, which wasn't very much. Um, so not too too much worry there as far as uh, scrapping out something. But I, I'm, I'm not going to scrap it out. It's still there. But uh, I'm going to try it a different method. So what do you guys think about that? 
uh, let me see if I can show you this Corona field and you'll be you'll like this a lot alright guys I'm gonna turn the lights off uh, basically I've got all the plates turned all the way up and you'll hear it uh, humming I don't know how well it's going to be but you'll definitely hear it humming so now I can't see here we go alright I'm not gonna leave this on very long because it produces a lot of ozone way too much for being in Inside the house here, so let's see if you can see it. Oh, I can see it great. Now you can kind of see it. You look really, you gotta look real hard. I'll shine it right on the edge of this plate here. There you go. There you can see it. But all the plates on both sides are doing that. I know that's hard to see, but. Frankly, it's the best I can do. Um, but I, when I look at it, I can actually see the entire plate glowing purple. I mean the whole plate. All of them. And maybe you can see it there. See my on switch. Yeah, you can see it. So there you go. Um, that's the Corona Field I was telling you guys about. So that ain't enough Corona Field. Oh my, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Let me turn the lights back on. Okay guys, so I'll be honest, just a little bit of on time. It's really strong down here. So basically what I'm telling you is there's a lot, a lot of gas ionization going on here. It's just a matter of extracting it now, I believe. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Think that's going to do what I want? I think it will. Um, I basically might even just unmount these plates and mount this just one single unit together or I might make something different but I don't know yet and this all uh, this has a fan uh, to suck the gas in here the uh, you know the air blow the air through and uh, I'm thinking the more time the gas is able to be inside uh, the chamber the better off it'll be so I may just let the gas flow control that instead of trying to force it through somehow um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I may need to pulse this transformer at 50% uh, duty cycle and the other 50% duty cycle have my electron extraction grid. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it'll work the same. I am really, really sure that this is AC. I do not think that there is a um, some sort of a diode built in here, but I, I can't tell. Um, they're both red, so probably AC. So this is an AC ionization. Um, versus a DC ionization when you when you use this type of an arrangement with the VIC core so you know there there's differences um, yeah I need you guys' opinion on this um, anything you got good or bad throw it my way uh, that's it this is Russ with RWG research uh, hopefully really shortly I'll be able to give you guys that schematic um, I might give it away anyway with no printed circuit board layout you can do that on your own if you'd like or you can just do it and I can use it because it takes a lot of time to do that um, I'm thinking about just sticking it on a standard board soldering it all together being done with it uh, it's gonna work the way I want it so that's fine but I'd like to etch one out but I just don't see me having the time right now so that's the deal uh, look for that other video soon and uh, maybe I'd like to go biking again I had to borrow a bike I don't have my own so do that sometime that was pretty fun peace everybody Later.